Yes, you guys are here for the drama and the excitement because I still believe the Xbox Series S is better than ugh, the PlayStation 5. <laughs> okay, so I said that two years ago when the Xbox Series S came out and it's two years later, so we're gonna find out if the Xbox Series S is still better than the PlayStation 5. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of comments in this video. <laughs> hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to the channel. We have a fun video for you. And before we go ahead, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor of this video, which is Narwhal. They have the new Narwhal Frio a vacuum. It's pretty cool stuff and I'll tell you why later on in this video. So, the Xbox Series S has been out for over two years, came out the same time as the Xbox Series X. And in my initial video, I got a lot of flack from you guys, a lot of you guys talking about how the Xbox Series S is not better than the PlayStation 5, even though I stated my reasons out there. There were so many comments as you can see on screen, calling me names, but I get it, I get it. We're all fans of the things we love. Some of us are, of course, Xbox fans. Some of us are PlayStation fans. Some of us are Nintendo fans. Some of us are just PC gamers. And yes, sometimes you can't get all the consoles and you have to basically pick and choose. That is where I'm gonna start with the Xbox Series S. Starting off with its price point, launched at $299, $300 console. It was the cheapest next-gen console to get and still holds that position. And now you can pick it up for even less than that. I'm seeing prices closer to 250, 239. Currently, this video is before Black Friday, so I'm sure there will be some Black Friday deals to make this worth it. Now with that price point, that brings that also brings availability. As we know currently right now, it's still not that easy to get a PlayStation 5. PS5 sometimes are available, sometimes they're not. I still see people asking for where they can buy a PlayStation 5. The Xbox Series S, that is not the case. You can buy it right now on Amazon, you can buy it at Best Buy, you can walk into a store to pick it up. And some of you might say, well, hmm, that means that of course the PlayStation 5 is more sought after. And that might be the case, but also it might mean the PlayStation is harder to produce. It also means that maybe more people are just willing to buy Xbox Series S because it is cheaper. Whatever option you want to pick, it is still available to pick up. And again, if you want to get that in, you definitely can. Now, the other aspect to this, of course, is its size. This is a very portable console, and I like it for that feature because whenever you want to take your console with you anywhere you want to go, you cannot do that quite easily because, say, the Xbox Series X or even the PlayStation 5, those things are massive. They're huge. They take up a lot of space. You can't put in your luggage or even your carry-on. I just had a trip to Sonoma Valley and Hawaii to see, check out MediaTek and Qualcomm. And I took my Xbox Series uh, S with me. I love it because I could actually put this in my backpack and take this with me on the road, which is pretty cool. So I was able to go ahead and start playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, of course, being able to enjoy the game that I wanted to play. I like that I can take this anywhere with me and it's very durable and solid. Now. You guys probably noticed oh, a lot of scratches on my Xbox Series S. Yes, uh, this thing of course is fully white and can scratch easily. And it's hard to remove a lot of the dust uh, off a white uh, device like this. Now I did say that our video sponsor did know a thing or two about cleaning and that is Narwhal. And last year we checked out the Narwhal T10. This year we have the Narwhal Frio. The Frio is the world's first self-cleaning robot vacuum, simply meaning it will go ahead and clean itself, making sure that it's clean for its next cleaning cycle. Also, this is a robot vacuum that has a base station that has an LED display, allowing you to go ahead and select the functions you want to without using your smartphone. And speaking of the smartphone app, it does have great functionality there. So you can select what you want to do in terms of the different modes that it offers. The Nowell vacuum also is super silent. I'm telling you, when silent in, the, in respect that it is not loud and you can barely hear it, but you know what? Just take a listen for yourself. Yep, that is impressive. And it does a really good job cleaning over carpets, over, of course, uh, your hardwood floor, and also mapping around, making sure that your whole environment is clean. So 
If you guys want to check them out and have something like this within your home so you don't have to actually do any cleaning and you can go back to gaming on your Xbox Series S, use the link down below. Maybe I should use my Narwhal to clean my Xbox Series S. Nah, just joking. I'll probably just get a wrap for this. I have actually saw some really cool Naruto or uh, Ichigo wraps. So I'll leave those links down for you guys also as well. Anyway, you guys are thinking, look, Thunder E, you said, stated the price. You showed us that it's super portable, but again, we want a next gen system. What about, of course, gameplay? Now, Xbox has stated that they're targeting 1440p for this console and not necessarily 4K. So you're not going to get everything at that max resolution. But as you can clearly see, it looks pretty good, you know? So for me, I'm not too worried about that. What I really like about the Xbox Series S though is just the amount of games you get with, as I mentioned before, Xbox Game Pass. And Xbox Game Pass is really the tool that makes the Xbox Series S worth its, its, its price in dollars. Now, as a console itself, in terms of specs, it will never, never match the PlayStation 5. And that's fine. But as a console that is a, port, uh, a portal to Xbox Game Pass, this is a great addition, especially for PlayStation owners who don't necessarily want to get an Xbox Series X or don't want to spend that kind of money, money anyway, but want to enjoy some of those Xbox games, this is the console that will do it for you. Now, we all know what Game Pass does. We know that Game Pass has a huge library of games. We know that you know, Microsoft has gotten a lot of developers and it's growing. And we know that Game Pass games come in from, of course, you have day one with Xbox games. Now, some of you say, well, look, we've got games on PlayStation 5, and that is very true. Honestly, um, Horizon West, that is a beautiful game. Looks good, absolutely love that game. And I just started playing God of War Ragnarok and I adore it. I love those and I want to see more of those. But on the PlayStation, on PlayStation Plus, uh, the new, of course, the PlayStation service, I don't get those games on day one. I still have to buy it. So I did pay my $70 to buy it. Actually, no, sorry. I paid $199 for the special edition because I want to do that. But that is the price of what I get with the PlayStation as opposed to the Xbox Series S where all I have is Game Pass. Now, another thing some of you would mention is, well, Thunder E, the Series S only has 512 gigabytes of storage. Yes which is small, honestly. So you kind of come down to around four something or maybe about 380 in terms of storage. Well, the PlayStation is not that great either. It starts at 800 and you probably have around 600 when you start. So it's really not that far off. So this is the accessory that does the extra for you on the um, Xbox Series S. Of course, it is the external storage, the Seagate uh, hard drive. Definitely need to pick one up even for your Xbox Series S because you can get a terabyte of storage, which I have, you can get another extra additional 512. And using that bay at the back, just plugging it in, it's great. So it does two things for me. Number one, on the, on the good side, it allows me to store more games and I have a ton of games on here that I have stored on my Xbox Series S because I have external storage. On the other hand, downside, it does add cost to it. So that's an extra cost, about 100, and I believe uh, 50 or 180, uh, you guys know the pricing. That makes it, of course, a little bit more expensive, but you don't have to. Again, with Game Pass, you can download the game, play it as much as you want, delete it, put another game. You've got 512 uh, gigabytes of storage. You can, of course, install enough games on your Xbox Series S to move forward. Now, for some people, I'm not gonna convince you, and that's fine. But what I'm here to actually tell you is that this console is actually worth its, its placement and is worth its snuff. And I'm gonna use the uh, Nintendo Switch as an example to this. Now, the Nintendo Switch is not the most powerful console out there. It is the least powerful console out there. But what makes the gaming experience? It's games. Games, 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 games. Nintendo has a lot of games, right? and Nintendo has a lot of IP that people love, and that's why that console still does well and people pick it up, and it also its price point. The Xbox Series S is aiming to do that, especially with Game Pass, because its price point hits the mark, you've got Game Pass that brings the games, and it's small, it's portable, 
and is easy to, of course, use. So those are my final thoughts. And I will say, yes, it is still better than the PlayStation 5 in 2022, the Xbox Series S. Have any questions, any comments, or you want to fight me, guys, leave those comments down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.